Hi everyone, nice short video for you today. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about all the parts of a circle that you must, must know. Okay, I'm gonna start with the three main ones that we use all the time when we talk about circles. The first one is the outside edge of the circle. So the actual line that goes all the way around the circle is called the circumference. Circumference. Okay? The next one that you need to learn is when we measure from the edge of the circle to the center point of the circle. So I'm going to use a red color to show this. So from the center point of the circle to the edge of the circle. This is called the radius, spelled R-A-D-I-U-S. Now, one thing to know here is that the radius can be taken from any part of the circle as long as it goes into the center. So I could measure the radius from this edge of the circle all the way up until the center point, and that would also be the radius. Now, the next one that you need to know is the diameter. Now the diameter is from one side of the circle to the other. So I could draw this shown here. So one side of the circle all the way to the other side of the circle. So that is called the diameter, the diameter. Now, another thing that you must know is that, that the diameter is double the radius. And we can write that as D for diameter. So diameter is the same as two times radius. Or we can even shorten this to diameter equals two R. So, if I know that the radius is five centimeters here, so if I know that the radius is five centimeters, I know that the diameter is two times that amount. So I know that the diameter must be 10 centimeters. Now, if we know that the diameter is twice the amount of the radius, we must also know that the radius is half of the diameter. So if this is the diameter, and if I know that the diameter is 12 centimeters, I know that half of this, half of the diameter would be six centimeters. And we can write that the radius is the same as the diameter divided by two. I'm going to finish the video today with a couple of questions and if you would like to then you can comment with your answer in the comment section down below. So in this circle I have a radius of 3.5 centimeters so what I would like you to do is work out please the diameter of this circle. In this second circle, the smaller one, I have a diameter of 21 centimeters. And what I would like you to do is work out, please, the radius of this circle. If you did find this video helpful and you did learn something today, then please smash that like button down below and I'll catch you in the next video.